Today we're going to be watching an AI learn to play Mario Kart Wii completely from scratch, using just the screen the same as any human would have. The downside to being completely self-taught is that the AI initially has no idea what it's doing. In fact, it doesn't even know that it's meant to be driving around a track, or even what driving is. The AI learns what it's meant to be doing by using a reward function, which is basically just a fancy way of saying it will be told when it does something good and when it does something bad. The system rewards the AI in a few different ways. The first is the most obvious, which is for finishing the race. Next we have a punishment for driving off-road, which additionally kills the AI, forcing it to restart. We then have a reward for getting around the track, which I'll talk a bit more about shortly. But lastly, it also gets a reward for getting a mini turbo. To explain what a mini turbo is, in Mario Kart Wii, if you drift for a little while, you start to see blue sparks coming out the back of your vehicle, which when the drift is ended, gives you a little speed boost. So the first behaviour our AI learns is simply to drift to the left, get a mini turbo in order to pick up the reward, and then immediately dying. Whilst this may not be a great strategy, it does show that AI clearly being driven by those rewards. Over time, the AI improves on this strategy by simply waiting longer before drifting left in order to go through more of the track before dying. So after a couple of hours of training, the AI learns that there's more to life than just drifting left into the abyss. It eventually figures out to drive straight forward and then turn right at the end, completing its very first corner. Pretty soon after, it's able to start doing the first corner quite consistently and is starting to figure out the very, very basics of the game. Anyway, before we get too far through the training, let's get back to how the AI is rewarded for driving around the track. All I had to work with to create this system is just the screen pixels, so I had to get quite creative. The best idea I could come up with was to use the minimap on the right to figure out where the AI is and use this to calculate if the AI is going in the right direction. The final result of this was a little editor I created, where I would make checkpoints that AI would pass. I would then give the AI a reward each time it would enter a new checkpoint. Whilst this system works well, I still haven't explained a crucial part of how it works. Whilst you and I can look at the minimap and see where Funky Kong is from his face, I needed a way to automatically get the coordinates of where he is. To do this, I used a technique called template matching. This involves looping over the entire minimap, comparing how similar the pixel values are to a reference image, and choosing the point where the pixels are most similar. Rewards aside, you may have noticed that AI has been making some huge strides forward, being able to drive over halfway around the track Luigi Circuit. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves though, the AI still is clearly working through some rather tough issues, so it still has quite a way to go. So you've probably noticed by now that the AI is playing alone on Luigi circuit and doesn't have any items. Even still, this video still took me way too long to make, but if there's anything you really want to see in another video, comment down below and if you absolutely obliterate the like and subscribe buttons, I'll be sure to give it my best shot as soon as I can. So the AI really struggled to learn the U-turn section of this map. I'm not sure if it's because the racetrack is raised at an angle, if it's the boost panels, or if it's just a really tough corner, but it got stuck here for quite a while. So with that said, I'm just going to let the AI get training.
After a long and painful 38 hours training, the AI finally completes an entire lap of the track. From this point, all the AI really has to do is get more consistent and learn to get much, much faster. So not long after completing its first lap, the AI is able to complete three full laps, finishing its entire full first race. Despite this, the AI is only just getting started. The AI completed its first full race in a time of 1 minute and 27 seconds. You may have noticed the timer actually said 1.42, but that's because the timer starts at 15 seconds. For the rest of the time training, the AI is going to look to shave off as much time as it can.
So after about 70 hours training, whilst the AI hasn't mastered the game yet, we can really see it improving, and from time to time we even see some true glimpses of mastery. Whilst at this point the AI is looking pretty good, I know what you've all been waiting for, so without further ado, here is the AI in its final form. <laughs> 